are some of the other over-the-counter drugs that have ingredients that we have to be on the lookout for? So, we, you know, the video talked about Tylenol or acetaminophen. Uh, one popular medication that's over-the-counter is in the ibuprofen families, and that would be like Advil, Motrin, any of the brand names of ibuprofen. A lot of times, patients don't realize that long-term or even short-term use of that medication can result in damage to the kidneys. It can cause bleeding ulcers. Um, you know, it can also um, be a risk factor mm -hmm. for cardiovascular conditions. Uh, so that's just one example of many of the over-the-counter medications that have potential harms. But something like, let's say, baby aspirin that they say, oh, you can take, let's say, to avoid heart disease mm -hmm. or that that's okay? Or? So baby aspirin actually is um, under it's like in a little bit of controversy right now because it's not harmless. And okay. so where in the past it was generally recommended for everyone, it has now come under a little bit more um, conservative approach. So we do recommend talking to your doctor to discuss whether that's an appropriate choice or not based on your age, your health history, and your risk factors. Because aspirin does have a risk of increasing bleeding, including bleeding ulcers, you'd want to make sure that the benefits outweigh the risk.